Hello, Chimicum 6th graders. Here's some pointers I have for you when you do your water quality research notes. So this assignment uh, tells you you're going to take notes on the parameter you're responsible for teaching the rest of your cohort. And on assignment, you can open up the Google Classroom to get the uh, document, or you can click on the document right here. Either way opens up your copy of the document. Now you see it's broken into four sections, so you can take what you're learning and think about it in four different ways. Uh, and that way, it'll help you see the information a little more clearly. But here's what you need to know. You don't want to do this one alone. You have to do it with your parameter assignment. So let's say I'm pH. I'm going to go to the pH assignment, and if I click on this link, it takes me to the website that I can read for myself and I can refer to. This is the website you're going to use in your bibliography when you teach the rest of your cohort your parameter. So you can learn all about pH here. But wait, there's more. At no additional cost, you get an Ed Puzzle. All right, so there's the link there to the Ed Puzzle. There's also the link there to the Google Classroom because sometimes it's better to go from here. And if you want to mark it as done, you have to do that on Google Classroom. Um, but look, you go here and you've got a video of me teaching you what's on here, what's important, because there's a lot to read there. If you don't want to have to read it all, you want to know exactly what to go to, watch this video. And I ask you questions along the way to make sure you're paying attention and not just having the video playing while you're just, you know, not even listening, because watching a video to the end and learning nothing or having done nothing, it's a waste of your time. And then you spend your science time getting nothing done, and then your parents find out you didn't do anything. So to do your work, you're going to watch this video, answer the questions, and write down what you're learning right here. That way you do two assignments at once, and you can't do uh, teach it right down here until you know about your parameter. So you have to watch the Ed Puzzle and take your notes to be able to create a great presentation to do your lesson to teach your cohort. And it's got to include the graphs of your data, two graphs. Okay, so that's everything you need. Uh, if you have any questions or get stuck on something, ask specific questions that I can answer and put it on the message right here so that I can get back to you right away. All right, good luck.